Alright guys, uh, here we are, the Gaming Gurus here with uh, the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind. And I'm Zero, and with me is Sexy and Peace Guru. Now if you didn't play this game before, you probably have heard of another game in the series called Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion. And this is just its predecessor, and it, it's, it, it's just as good in my opinion. It has its ups and downs, but... It's an original Xbox game, as you see is the humongous controller there. We're playing it on a 360. So, it has a lot of more options than Oblivion. There's, it's a cooler land in my opinion. There's a lot more like change up in the terrain. And I think it's, you'll be very interested if you've never seen it before. Besides the creepy character models. I'll let you guys just read this. It's kind of important, I guess. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. Jib. What's Good old Jib. My name is Zero. What? Did he be on roids? Some veins. We're gonna thong. Yeah. I ain't the one talking. You do. I better, I better do what they say. Mr. Furboots here. They kick me up, you know. They're soft and fuzzy, okay. Yeah, don't mind the character models. They are, I'll admit, they are pathetic on this game. But the scene, the environment is very well, well done by Bethesda. I'm a big fan of Bethesda. I've played... Both Morrowind and Oblivion, I love them both, and I've played Fallout 3, and I'm really excited for anything else they're going to be putting out soon. Whether that be New Vegas or whenever the new Elder Scrolls game comes out. I'm going to be a Dark Elf, because it helps you with, uh, you know, the disposition of a lot of the NPCs here, because most of them are Dark Elves, and plus you get more you know, choices from your faces because there's more available, which is nice. Where's my mohawk? Here's my mohawk, okay. That's me. Great. I'm sure you'll fit right in. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. <laughs> 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 He's like chewing. <laughs> South Park. He kind of like holds his mouth open and words just fly out and he's just like, uh, that'll be cool. <laughs> you just hold open your mouth and his words are just flying out. <laughs> You'll see in here is a lot of things that Oblivion have, have got come from here. And you'll also notice a lot of things that Oblivion has left out. Like, a lot of the skills are different. I'm just going to fill the forums because no one wants their class made for them. We'll, we'll call this a guru. Just because, as you know, it's fitting for our channel. Alright. We're going to go stealth just because it's fun to steal things. Modern life. But, on the game it is. Alright, we're going to go with agility because something on this game that's different than Oblivion is agility 
it, you know your ability to dodge and hit targets and hitting things is not a given on this game you actually there's a, actually like a dice roll whether you're gonna hit somebody or not and as you see there's major and minor skills here which is different because not as a third skill category called miscellaneous skills and the thing the difference between major and minor skills in this game is major skills go up faster as well as start higher than minor skills so you want to pick skills that are not easy to get up in the major category, which is going to be ma magic stuff for my stealth character. So I'm going to pick, you know, alchemy and illusion and stuff like that. And I'm going to put spear in here because I like spears and marksman. Because it, bow and arrows are hard to use at the beginning. It's nice to have a little boost. And I'm going to put speechcraft just because it's not easy to get up either. And, and now you put like your weapon skills here and your sneak and security acrobatics I'll put light armor and short blade it does seem like the easy customization yeah it's a lot more customization and it's making a little bit harder choices because you know your miscellaneous skills start off like crap and they don't get any bonus to the experience they get so That would be, I'm going to say the mage, just because it's always nice to have a, you know, more magic. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. Mm. Luck. Yeah, this looks good. Now, I'll give you a little, my first little pointer here is this, see this plate over here, it is worth 650 gold, which is quite a wad of cash in the beginning of the game. So what you gotta do is you gotta make, you know, this guard's gonna take a little while to get over to me. So when I grab it, I press B really quick, drop it, he yells at me, he walks over in his corner and I just pick it back up, and they're, and they're cool with it. So, okay, and they kind of expect you to steal some of the stuff over here. That's why it's here. Not to a riskar. Yeah, so you can actually like hold candles in this game. It's kind of cool. See, I figure most of you guys watching are just uh, you know Morrowind veterans or Oblivion fans. You know, looking to get into this. So I'm just gonna you know kind of. You know, I'm a Mario inventor myself, so I know a lot of the secrets of the game. So, if you're new to the game, you can you know ex learn some of the secrets. And if you're an Oblivion fan looking to get into it, this will help you as well. Make your decision whether you want to get into it or not. I'm just gonna take some of the stuff so I can sell it to the lo local trader. Looking at the value and the weight. Lockpicking is also different. There's not a mini game. It's all based on your skill. See, I'm a thief, so it kind of opened pretty easy for me. Eh. Put the lit candle now. I don't want it. They actually will burn out on this game, so you don't want that to happen. Because then you're gonna be stuck with that one one day. It's not gonna be fun for you because you're gonna be in a dark dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> all right. There's a door right here, and. Yeah, it's worth 14. Why not? Ooh, 100. Nice. It's all random loot, so sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I won this time. 